Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's the Bandai Tamashii Nation Star Wars Movie Realization, Teppo Ashiguru Sand Trooper. For all the upcoming Japanese Star Wars figures, head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, so this was released in Japan maybe a month or so ago, um, and it was, I think, a Tamashii Store exclusive. Um, so it's taken a while for the US retailers like a Big Bad Toy Store uh, to get their stock, um, but um, it's finally come in and it is an absolutely fantastic figure. Um, the box art is the same sort of style that uh, we have with the other figures. Um, and there's some of the artwork at the back, and I do love the posability as always. I'll give you guys a look at that in a second. Uh, the accessories, uh, the accessories are absolutely fantastic. I love this backpack. So you just have a look at the detail and the paint application on this backpack. It's just amazing. I love the sort of silver and dirt wash finish. Um, all the intricate sort of um, styling. Um, and you, you know, with all of this uh, sort of um, uh, throwback and hom homages to the original sort of character look in the movies. Um, you pretty much instantly recognize it, um, but uh, can tell that it's uh, got that unique touch to it as well. So definitely love that. And uh, that uh, little pin there, there is a warning that it's delicate. It does feel fairly sturdy, but uh, do be careful. Um, and that just uh, plugs into the hole in the back there. And it does fit in fairly fairly easily, so I'm just uh, go slow and uh, don't uh, try and uh, do anything too, too hard to, to snap it off. Um, it comes with... The standard uh, stormtrooper. Oh, if I can focus, sorry. If you can, uh, standard scabbard and a katana. Um, I think it's pretty much identical to the one that uh, came with the original stormtrooper. Um, and you can uh, just uh, put it in there. So, again, nicely done. And uh, it's got the little uh, clip on the side here that does rotate uh, to allow you to put it on. And uh, I tend to have it uh, facing down like that. Um, instead of uh, facing up, but um, uh, your mile, uh, mileage might vary um, depending on how you want it to look. Um, the two weapons, um, Sand Troopers are always known for having um, some fairly cool weapons um, and uh, you know, with all the original sort of sideshow and Hot Toys releases they do come with a, a variety of uh, larger rifles. Um, so this one comes with two. Um, so this one here is the thinner one and is quite nicely painted and detailed as well. Love the sort of um, symbol there. And on this side you get a bit more of the intricate detail and this little lock thing here does uh, rotate. So just be careful there, it is pretty fragile but um, it does rotate up. So overall the paint application and detail is pretty awesome on that. And then it comes with this uh, massive chunky one <laughs> uh, which uh, looks pretty damn funny. Um, the paint application again, good dirt wash over the silver parts and the wood areas here does look uh, very nice and again it's got the little, f I don't know if that's the flint lock thing or whatever they call it um, but again that does look pretty damn awesome and I'll probably uh, display it with uh, with this particular one. And as always it comes with an assortment of hands, um, they're pretty much identical to the Stormtrooper hands except with an extra bit of yellowing and dirt wash on them. Um, so the usual stuff there. Um, but of course the centerpiece is this incredible figure. It does look pretty damn amazing and I'm not sure, it must be just the um, extra yellowing and weathering um, but it does really pop on display um, in comparison to the Stormtrooper. So I've got the Stormtrooper right here so I can give you a side by side. So you can clearly see um, the difference in, in weathering um, and the colour of the plastic. I don't know if it's paint applic- I don't think it's paint, it must be just the underlying colour of the plastic I think. Um, but uh, you can definitely tell that uh, there's a yellowing there which is uh, appropriate. Um, and there's also additional sort of um, paint details, like for example um, in the shoulder area here um, you get the extra bit of um, reddish sort of uh, paint for those particular strings similar to down here. Whereas on the Stormtrooper, um, they weren't uh, painted all that well, or missed. Um, and mine were just a, a sort of darker yellowish colour. Um, so I guess they've added that bit of detail in there. Um, but the mould wise, it's pretty much uh, the same as the, the Stormtrooper. Um, the 
armor detailing is pretty much the same. So I do like um, that they've included these additional um, things uh, that represent the sand troopers. So you've got the uh, orange pauldron, um, which uh, is pretty chunky on this side. <laughs> um, I thought that could have been a separate piece to the armor, but it's not. It's just one molded piece, uh, whereas the stormtrooper just has the, the standard armor there. And um, he's got the uh, leather pouch on this particular side like uh, the sand troopers have. Um, so that's a nice little addition there. Um, there's also a bit of difference here in that he's got like a, I don't know if that's like a little water bottle or something like that with the Empire symbol on there, whereas the sand tro uh, the Stormtrooper's just got this uh, standard pouch, um, so that's a bit of a difference there that I just noticed. Um, but pretty much everything else is the same as the Stormtrooper, so articulation wise, you know, these parts don't even really hinder the articulation all that much, as you can see. Um, and the legs go out quite far, double jointed knees and elbows, um, as per the previous figures. Um, so no issue there. So overall, um, it's another great addition to uh, the line, particularly if you are into army building. And I have seen some photos uh, from Japan of these uh, figures, uh, you know, displayed in front of uh, some temples and so on. And they just look um, pretty damn spectacular. So overall... Um, if you're into this line, um, you know, some collectors have still asked me about, you know, what's the what's the background for this line and why are they doing this um, based on Star Wars? And, you know, it's all about how George Lucas designed the original um, Stormtroopers and Darth Vader and so on um, based on uh, feudal Japanese costumes and so on. And so um, you can see that in some of the Star Wars books like um, Magic of Myth and uh, Star Wars costumes, etc., um, and uh, it gives you an insight into you know what inspired him when he um, and I guess Ralph Macquarie uh, you know designed these characters. So uh, that's the the genesis and the background for this line and uh, part of the reason why I, I love it so much because um, it's just a, a unique representation of um, the Star Wars characters. So um, hopefully you like that quick look. Um, this is a uh, up for, for ordering now from Big Bad Toy Store, so definitely get in um, because um, I don't think you can get it from uh, some of the direct Japanese stores. So um, it is a, a great uh, figure. Um, they do have the Royal Guard coming up, uh, they say, late April, but I haven't seen any photos, um, so it might have been pushed out to May. But um, definitely, hopefully, uh, you can subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the upcoming review for the Royal Guard. So um, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.